What a beautiful day. So there she is, the absolute rig. So I just put my hand over to cover the name of the boat. A big shout out to everyone who suggested names on an Instagram post I put up a little while back, but there could only be one winner. This name, actually Jed thought of it the day I bought it. We're driving back to my house and he basically said, Harry, you like women and you like fishing. And then he said the name. And I put it out there in case someone had a bad name, but I was pretty damn certain it was gonna be this one. It took me a couple months to get the sticker and the design put on, but it's finally on there. And I think you guys will be frothing as much as I am. Without further ado, I want to welcome Skirts Up to the family. Yeah, boy. And for all you dirty minded people out there, it's just a fishing skirt. There's nothing dirty about this. But yeah, the design's pretty mid. Came up with it myself and got a friend Ruby to design it and she did an awesome job. For someone who doesn't fish, <laughs> she did an awesome job on the design. But yeah, anyway, let's go fishing. G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're on Skirts Up and we're fishing solo. So as you can see, got the Tiagras, got the TLDs, got the Saragosas and we are going for tuna. Currently there's an inshore run of yellowfin tuna so I didn't have to go very far out. So I start putting the lures out. As you can see, the shoreline's pretty clear, even on the GoPro, so that means they're not very far out. But I'm in about 90 meters of water, and I'm gonna troll between probably 60 to 120 meters of water, depending on where I find birds and where it looks like it's good and where I find bait. So in my lure wrap, I've got a few selections. So firstly, I'm gonna pick that bad boy, and we're gonna run that guy. He looks primo. Secondly, I'm gonna run that guy. It's like a vibe. I haven't ever hooked anything on it, but I like that you control them kind of a bit faster and I kind of want to hook one on it, so I'm going to run that guy. Thirdly, I'm going to run a Lumo Squidgy. Caught a few fish on that guy. And lastly, I'm going to run a Diver. So there are four choices for today. I could switch it up as we go on, but I think I'll just stick with those guys and hopefully We'll hook some fish. Anyway, we'll put the lures out. It's a bit hard when I'm solo, so I'll probably won't video it. But yeah, we'll start steaming out a bit, I reckon. And yeah, we'll see what we can find. Phew. It is a desert out here. I've probably seen maybe 10 birds. And I've been going for about an hour. Uh, pretty terrible. But I did come out a bit deeper than what everyone else is probably fishing because my mate lost one out here yesterday and I just thought, you know, I'll just come out a bit deeper and see if there's anything out here. <laughs> yeah, it's not much. Well, we've had a change of plans. I quickly just shot out to the shelf, brought the reels in because I was like, it was just dead. So everyone else was saying it was dead, so I just thought I'll just shoot out here. It's still early, it's nine o'clock. Um, so I decided to come out here, troll around. There's way more birds already, right on the shelf here, right on the edge, on the inside edge. And yeah, we'll just troll around here. There's heaps of bait coming up on the sounder. So yeah, we'll troll around and see how we go. But I'm feeling a bit more confident out here. Well, it's not the best when I get out here and someone reports 50 kilo fish caught in 40 meters of water. And I'm in 150 meters of water right now. Long way from 40 meters. <laughs> so. Yeah, that sucks, but I think I'm out here now. I might as well just keep going. A lot just happened in the last hour. So I had a fair few fish getting caught so far away from me, but I thought I just got to do it. <laughs> so I ran in, I think it was 25 nautical miles. Well, I didn't get exactly where I wanted to, but whew, man, I feel like I ran that whole way, but, <laughs> but I was getting pumped along the shitty little Norris shot she loved it she did a good job for how fast i was going but we got to close to where i want to be saw all these birds and i was like oh, i've got to drop my lures in came back inshore but so far from where i was i mean 25 nautical miles is about i don't know close to 40 kilometers probably and it doesn't sound like much but on the like when you're on the ocean on the waves it takes a fair while like even big boats it takes a fair while but anyway we're in the zone uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a fish. I'm a long way from home if I don't get a fish, but you know you got to risk it for the biscuit sometimes. Hopefully it pays off. But yeah, rods are back in, ready to go. Hopefully we can get one. Eww. I'm in about 80 meters of water, and there's a couple of boats with me, but we're all just trolling through the birds. I did see one big fish bust up, 
about two minutes ago. I wasn't close to the fish, but it was definitely a bust up. Yeah, we're just trolling through the birds. I know Kate is just behind me there. She's hooked up earlier. And I think this boat here has already caught two fish. Now it's just my turn, hopefully. There's gotta be fish underneath there. It's gotta be. Look at the birds and fish in this. Holy shit. Got the flash boost OCR. Can't get it off my freaking line. Oh, we marked a fish on the sounder. Come on, give us one. Give us one. Oh my god, the archers on that. Can't believe I just marked the fish on that shitty old sounder. Oh my god, that has got my heart racing. Let's keep going. I'm staying around here. Look at that guys, down 40 meters, you can see all the archers. Went for about, I don't know, 50 meters. You can see all the fish there, wow. All right, let's go back to the birds. Just keep casting. Keep trolling. I'm freaking buzzing right now because I don't usually mark tuna because my sound is so bad. But that's 100% tuna. They're down 40 meters. That means they're coming up. If you're watching at home, fingers crossed for me. Solo, casting, driving, and trolling at the same time. If we hook up, it's going to be all going on. A bit of chaos, but that's what we want. We want to hook up. Hopefully on the troll, like I'd love to get one off the top, but there's going to be so much chaos if I hook one off the top but you know i'm still casting i just want to hook on so biggest can't be choosers let's go one punch ko give me a f***ing yellow fin give me a f***ing yellow fin off the top this will be so good eat my stick bait right at the boat i'm singing to hopefully hook up i'm doing this for the rest of the day i'm telling you especially because i marked them Get out of here, Mark Bird. Oh, I'm marking them down 30 meters again. Yes! 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 Woo! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Yeah, baby! We hooked up, baby! This is a big fish. I need to turn the music off. Infant pest. Holy shit, this is chaos. Uh, this is on the vibe that I haven't caught a fish on yet. Forgot to load my spear gun, that's one thing I forgot to do. Oh, it is absolute chaos. I've still got one rod out, but I've got to focus on this because I don't have a lot of line left. I just kept marking fish and I knew it had to come. It just had to happen. I was casting off the top, I was singing, I was telling the tuna gods to just let me hook up and then bang, one of the corners just went off and it's so crazy because this, five minutes before I hooked up I thought I had to tangle so I brought this rod in, didn't have a tangle, put it back out and then two minutes later bang, it just hooked up, oh, well I haven't got it yet but those days when it feels like it's paying off, I did the biggest run. You so much fuel and I thought, risk it for the biscuit, but I haven't got the fish yet, so I wanna get my hopes up. We going, we rolling, we're rolling, Phil. Uh, I'll stop swearing, but guys, you don't realize the stoke when one of these does this, when you're solo.
That is a good fish, man. That is a good fish. Holy moly. Find that drag because we're getting down low. Holy moly. Stop doing that, mate. Whale jumping in the background. Birds are still going off. This is a big fish. Holy shit. Gotta tire him out. It's funny because the other Dale's out here. I donutted. I got none. But I drove around with the harness straps ready to go today. I only drove around with this bit. And of course, now I need the harness straps. But we'll go for as long as I can without them. Never know, he might come in easy. Or he might be out there for two hours. Look at land, home is right there. That is crazy. I don't know what to say, guys. Too much adrenaline going on. But if you're watching now, hit the like, hit the comment, hit the subscribe if you haven't. That helps a lot. Just hit 100K a couple of weeks ago. Subscribers, that is. Pretty stoked. The more people watching, the better. And if this doesn't get you to subscribe, <laughs> can't even talk. If this doesn't get you to subscribe, I don't know what will. Solo yellowfin. Not yet, but hooked one at least. And I will put a solo yellowfin up top of the screen right now if you want to click it and save it for after this video is done. Because, yeah, that was a couple months ago. It wasn't massive, but it's a solo yellowfin. This will be my third one if I get him in the boat. Solo, that is. <sighs> yeah, I'm a bit quiet right now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just in the zone. It's a good fish, but I'm really nervous. I'm trying to winch as much line as I can in right now before this boat gets too close. Turn! What? See, what is he doing? It's Toby. <laughs> I love you, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in because it's hilarious. Oi! Come gaff it! Yeah, swim over and gaff it! One of them's gonna swim over and help me gaff it. It'd be a lot easier. It's not a solo fish, but isn't that what mates are for? He didn't know I was here, he just. Start trying behind me and I'm yelling at him and he won't know that until he watches the video. Thanks. Ooh. All good? Yeah. I've got still got one rod out. Do you want to get that for me? Yeah. Where's the camera? G'day, Tobin who's jumped on board to help with the gaff shot. Getting tired, give him a couple big pumps. Yeah. Look at those head shakes. This is where it really hurts when you bend over. Yeah. You can pull and drag on something, sir. <laughs> Stop it! Harry's onto a solo yellow fin. Not solo. Oh, I anymore. I, not solo anymore. I come past. And I went, is that, is that offshore? That's f***ing daddy offshore. <laughs> and he's hooked up. So I've jumped on board to help him with the gaff, help him clear the deck a bit and just drive the boat for him. So absolute legend. Yeah. Shout out Uncle Toby. Shout out Uncle Tobes. And um, yeah, we'll show you what this fish looks like when we get him in a boat. Get ready. He's still got a couple circles left in him. Stay strong for the camera. Can we go forward? Yeah, just time it. He didn't like that. He did not like that. Good sickles. Good sickles. Good sickles, brah. That's about all you get on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, gaff, 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 gaff. Let him do one more. I'll walk back and see. One more. Wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go. Wait, wait, wait. Just want a good shot. Yeah. Maybe this time. I'm at the leader. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe drop it back from sunset. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go. Got him! I love you, Toby! <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeehaw! That's how it's done. The hook just popped out of him. Oh, shit. One, two, two three. three. This side. Thank you, brother. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Big sickles. You ready to get one yourself, mate? That's a 50 kilo fish, bro. That's a 50 kilo fish. <laughs> oh, I am shaking. I wouldn't have got that fish if it wasn't for Toby. 50 kilo any day of the week on the snapper grounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We want, we want that brainy, mate. Turn off because I'm a mad. Yeah, what was that? No. <laughs> I said, take my shirt off because I'm a mad. Phew. Where are these sickles? <laughs> There's nothing harder than picking up a big tuna after a long fight. Phew. Yeah. That is a 50 kilo fish. Solo, but not solo as well. Because Toby. All right, because I don't catch many fish, usually, I don't usually bring an ice bag. My boat's not that big, but I've let him, killed it, and we'll keep him nice and cool underneath the duna cover. It's wet. There you go. Then you get the best quality meat that I can try and get. If you have an ice bag, put it in the ice, but my boat's obviously not that big, so that's the best we can do, but that will be fine. All i got to say, is listen to your gut feeling. Firstly, I went south so far. I thought it was dead, so I went out so far. Then I heard the report, people catch them down here. It was still early, so I thought, stuff it, let's run. I thought it's gonna be the biggest waste of fuel and time if I don't catch one. But luckily, it all paid off with a PB on my new boat. And I basically did it solo. <laughs> Mainly. I don't know if I would've got it if it wasn't for Toby. So shout out Uncle Toby, but yeah, that is crazy. I'm so stoked. Oh, Yellowfin, they drive me nuts, but when this happens, it's all worthwhile. Ew! Big fish busted up. many fish in there so I just thought I've got one if we can release another one I'll release it or if we keep it or Toby's mates never caught a yellow fin be cool to get him on the rod but there was fish busting up everywhere in front of the boat well that's probably me guys had a little run around and try to get one off the top but it's pretty quiet now um, yeah I've got a long way to go to get home so I'm just gonna start steaming you never know I could see fish on the way there but I'm gonna steam if I see any birds on the way, I'll stop and I'll keep this on just in case. But I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right guys, we've got the tuna down at the boat ramp and yeah, we got it and gilled it 
the night we got it and it's been on ice for two days because I've been fishing. I haven't had time to fill it, but we're gonna do that now. So had about eight bags of ice, I reckon, at one point. Kept it nice and cold in the Logix bag and I kept the gills and all the intestines because I want to chuck it back into the ecosystem it comes from and I want to see what it's been eating, if there's any bait in the stomach. I love seeing that in big fish like this because they eat fish whole. I found remora in tuna before, squid, toadfish, all different types of things. So we'll have a look at that before we start filleting this guy. But yeah, it's a good 45 kilos. Obviously doesn't weigh as much now without the gills and the guts, but I'm pretty stoked with it. Especially on my boat, we upgraded the last fish. And it's funny, I've been out tuna fishing probably 10 times with mates, never hooked anything. And then the two days I go out by myself, catch a fish both times. So it's pretty insane, but it's a pretty good bite. Inshore, yellowfin, can't complain with that. So let's see what it's been eating. First of all, we had the gills it's going back in there. Then we got the heart. The heart is absolutely massive, but don't really need that. So the pelicans can eat it. Anyway, here is the stomach. So I'll just cut it open. I'll squeeze some bait out of it. It's all pretty decomposed, but you can see some sort of slimy or pilchard looking thing there. And I did find a few little squid hoods there. So it's just been eating pilchards or souries or some sort of bait fish like that and a few squid. But yeah, it's all pretty decomposed. I guess it's been in there a couple of days. Anyway, let's fill this big dog up. That guy is all done. We've got heaps of meat. And yeah, we'll have to skin that, take the bones out, take the bloodlines out. And you can see, I did stuff up one of the sides of the fillets. But when you go back with your knife, you can take all the scraps off. This is all good for sashimi. And then you can keep that to give away or cook some up or have some in a different way. But the main thing is you don't waste it. You take all the meat out as you can get. And yeah, chuck this back into the ecosystem it comes from. The rays, I was actually just talking to a bloke down here. I was telling him how... When you put it back into the water, the rays clean it up, the pelicans, stuff like that, you let nature take its course. It's better in the ocean, in my eyes, than putting it back into the ground um, because I'm taking something from the ocean, so I might as well put the scraps back in the ocean so things like the stingrays and pelicans and crabs and stuff like that can clean up the mess. Anyway, we we'll chuck that guy back. I'm gonna start skinning, taking the bloodline out of everything before it gets too dark. I just thought I'd say goodbye to you guys before that happens. Uh, yeah, I want to say a big shout out to Toby for helping me gaff that fish. I don't know if I would have got it or not without Toby, but we'll never know. I'll drop him off a couple steaks. He can enjoy them. And yeah, a big shout out to you guys for watching and supporting. Stuff like that isn't possible without you guys' support. So hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. If you do want to support more, I've got Patreon, I've got merch. Well, I'm not even wearing my merch right now. Cover this up. <laughs> I've got merch, I've got jigs as well online, www.offshoreadventures.com.au. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I have done a solo, well, I've done two solo yellowfin episodes now, but this is, will be the third one. And this is obviously the biggest by far. And yeah, it was a crazy day out in the water when this happened. Anyway, I hope this inspired you to get out there, catch some fish. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Phew.